Awesome Libras, I hope that you're doing amazing. Welcome to your general reading with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader for 5 till 12 May. So in this general reading, we're going to take a look at career money and goals. We're going to take a look at relationships and also messages from Spirit Clarify and end up with a direct message from Source. Okay, so you've got three cards coming out there right away for you for um, career money and goals. Huh, okay. You're going to have a look at that, see what's going on for you there, Libra. Just want to shuffle it a little bit more. I feel that I should. All right. So Libra, dealing with Libra, wherever you've got Libra in your chart, this is your reading. Check it out. Take it as it resonates. What do we have for those? Oh, cards are just popping out here for you. It's quite amazing. So um, I'm just going to take this on the top. Any of you that might be interested in learning card reading, um, spiritual development, do check out the links for my online courses in the description. All right, let's get into this reading. If anything in this reading resonates with you in a positive way, claim it for yourself by placing your hand on your heart to do a nice deep breath and saying yes to it. Okay, Libras, beautiful, beautiful people. So six of stars, which is the six of wands, six of cups and the seven of pentacles. So let's first speak about the numerology that's happening here for you in career, money and goals. So sixes, first of all, in tarot, is the energy of magic it's the energy of love it's the potential of miracles because when you turn six around it becomes nine so big positive changes fast positive changes all right um so that's the first thing that is coming up for you in your reading your beautiful libra big positive fast changes are possible for you now and seven means you're ready to go to that next level of infinity which is number eight all right so six of stars once once is all about you it's your fire energy it's your motivation it's your drive it's your strive it's your you know what is making you do what you do okay there is there, there are some miraculous breakthroughs here for you definitely in your career i feel that for some of you you know when it comes to career libra you weren't necessarily doing um a wrong thing or a bad thing i mean i don't even know if libras can do a bad job even if they try you know because you're such beautiful people but it's like some of you lost your mojo there a little bit and i feel that you're getting that back or you want to work at getting it back you know so if you are let's say you're an artist or you just even work in like an office shop whatever it is that you do you know i mean one is not superior to the other but whatever it is that you are doing um maybe you need to take a little bit of time out and you need to sort of like just spend some time on you i feel there's there's a need for you to not try and be creative and try and be professional and whatever maybe you should just be there for a little bit you know what i mean um and just sort of spend some time with yourself ground remember libra for you it's very important it doesn't matter what happens in your life if you ground you'll be fine and even if you feel that you've grounded enough, ground a bit more, okay? Um, Six of Cups here, there are other people coming on board to help you, to support you. There's a little bit of a sense here of, you know, can I trust others? Can I trust people? And the answer I get there is yes, okay? Seven of Pentacles. Things are beautifully set up here for you to go to a next level. So for the moment, just for now, Libra, maybe don't try so hard to make things work don't try so hard to create new and expansion and profit you know do what you need to do but and i know this is hard for some of you but do the bare minimum and allow the rest to naturally and almost sort of like um you know consequentially fo consequentially follow all right in your relationship space so personal relationships romantic relationship close friends and family you've got the queen of swords you've got the full energy which is your uranus energy it's about change and rebellion what changes are you fighting against all right what changes are you fighting against what is so hard for you to deal with because there's something here that's super hard and you're trying to wrap your mind around it i see you're getting better at it though all right and then also we've got uh, um the nine of pentacles over there let me just check something quickly what do we have now so we currently um sorry i'm just checking something out here because i may have been giving the wrong information here in my actual reading let me just see so we are now in may so we're actually going to june so it's the fifth till the 12th of june the reading not may you see i've all messed up with my times again but you get it and i'll put it in the description and you know 
I'm sorry to Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn, but I've now already done that. Unfortunately, I'm not going to redo those readings. But you see how you bring balance with just your energy. You made me realize that I'm living a month in the past. <laughs> okay. Um, so relationships. Take things one step at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself. It feels like you're trying to say, well, if I do this, this and this, then I must do this, this and that, and I owe this, this and that, do this, this and do. And no, 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 no. Easy peasy. Okay. And don't, you know, I feel that a lot of what you are sort of like finding yourself in at the moment, even though it might be very personal to you, it's not necessarily your fault. You may not have set something in motion here. Um, and I also feel that it's not necessarily up to you to resolve it either. Okay. There's a new start, a new beginning here that is in everybody's best interest. So this could be a new relationship. It could be taking your relationship to a next level. There's, there's this chance of like maybe... You know, I'm not saying that it was wrong, but maybe it was a little bit skim off the top there for a while. Now you're getting a chance to really, really get into it or to really start something beautiful with someone new that pays off really well, especially even in things like the career and meeting your goals and stuff like that. So it might seem like something really terrible is happening, but it's actually taking you to a very positive next level, my beautiful, beautiful Libras. Okay. Um, Looking at messages from source, Wheel of Fortune there, Jupiter energy, Eight of Stars, Eight of Wands, Chariot energy there, Cancerian energy there for you, my beautiful people, um, security and foundations. So things are definitely going in a positive direction for you. This is what source wants to let you know. You are reminded that you are not alone. All right. You've got a lot of support. You are not alone. You've never been alone. All right. Um, because you are everything and everything is you. Okay. Eight of stars, eight of wands. Um, it's like you're trying to, to make everything work for everybody. And that is a beautiful thing about you, Libra. And I think that is why um, some, of, some of the most beautiful people that I know in this world are Libras. But, you know, you want to be careful of something. And this is something that you can fall into sometimes. And it's interesting that you've got this chariot energy, cancer energy following that. Because this is something that can happen for cancers as well. All right that you are becoming so intrigued and involved with, with somebody else's energy and every detail that's happening that you forget about yourself. And then things start to go very south for you. So ground, be there for yourself. Okay, you can be there for everybody, but don't neglect being there for yourself. And remember that you can't fix everything. So don't try to fix everything and don't try to fix everyone. Okay? And also remember that you may not feel 100% all peeped up and excited and everything about life. And that's okay. Life is a balance. It goes both ways. Okay. All right. So let's clarify. So we're going to start clarifying, first of all, career, money, and goals. Let's see what's happening over there for us. What is it that my beautiful Libras need to know? Career, money, and goals. What is it that you need to be aware of? Okay, I'm going to take these three cards that are presenting themselves over there. Not that one. Okay, this one. All right. So let's see. So career, money, and goals. Nine of swords, Libra energy. There you go. And also the nine of pentacles. So the reason why you are being encouraged to maybe be open to a different way of doing things, to just focus on you when it comes to career, money and goals right now, is because you may have been doing something for a certain period of time. You may have been getting very good at it, very excellent at it, you know, um, or maybe you've been doing the same sort of job over and over, the same mindset over and over. And it does feel to me that for many of you that like almost like your... Um, you know, there's this is one Libra that I know is, is a really exceptional person who, you know, who speaks about seeing their cookie jar emptying and everything turned around when they surrendered to that. I said, well, maybe that's how it's supposed to be. And maybe that is something that you want to, you know, want to be open to. Um, I feel that for a lot of you, there's a lot of tears that you need to cry. Things are bugging you at night. So also pay attention to that. What are the things that are bugging you at night that you are able to very, very successfully ignore during the day? Okay. What are those scary thoughts that you get first thing in the morning? You want to look at those. Don't try to skip them over. What are they? All right. And even by just looking at them, acknowledging them and saying to them, I don't like you. You scare me. I don't like you. You know, you are terrifying me. You're making my knees buckle. You're beginning to get yourself into balance with that and share your fears with others. Doesn't mean that you go about and say to everybody, like, I'm so scared. But, you know, don't, 
don't try to put up a, a mask of strength basically see what happens if you really let people know how you feel all right and i feel that is leading you into prosperity and possibly a different direction even with your career okay you might be on the brink here literally on the precipice of starting a whole new career that takes you in a whole different direction but and, and where you might see the stability that you had before and you saw that your life is going to go that way it was just a step in a in a mighty beautiful staircase taking you in a beautiful different direction okay so going in a very different very unexpected direction in your life but it's not something that you need to fear all right and it's, it's not something that you need to um sort of like push away okay let's look at relationship your personal relationships in your life interesting enough it feels like for many of you that like the romance is going well but the question is is it really going as well as you're saying to yourself that it is or are you sort of like just um sort of like smearing things on it like you know just to make it look pretty like when a cake has a hole in it you put in tissue paper and like icing but when somebody cuts in there they're going to cut through that frosting and the truth is going to reveal themselves all right um it feels like you need to make a big choice here all right it's time to make a choice it's time to choose all right very important for you it's time to make a choice it's time to choose what relationships are you going to keep on doing the things that they were being done or are you going to go for new are you going to end them so you're going to go on or you're going to end them and if you do whichever you decide where do you decide to stay where do you decide to cut you know to end things or to go or whether you even open yourself to a new connection because this is a general reading a new connection with someone else the biggest thing here for you is that you want to really be 100 percent on board with your choice so you gotta make a choice if you're gonna be with this person if you're gonna stay with this person if you're gonna go for this connection or cut them off you have to be on board with it and you have to understand that it's a start of a new beginning all right so you want to be clear again about your goals about your life about where it is that you want to go and is this person really fitting into your life or are they not fitting into your life and you have to go with that choice and start that new beginning okay don't let people go uh, in a sense of well i don't really know i don't really think that maybe this is as precious as i thought it's going to be so i'm going to let it go and then a couple of days down the line you go like oh my goodness i shouldn't have done that so be clear about your intentions behind your actions um yeah with the with the knight of wands building a brand new sort of like um picture of your life a brand new emotional picture motivational picture so again if you're in it you've got to be in it to win it and you've got to really be in it all right or you got to step out of it but you know trying to see what's going to happen i don't know maybe you know yada yada uh -uh. you're going to end the you you're going to cause a lot of um you know you're going to cause a lot of trouble here for yourself and i see you being very emotional at this point um and so be also be careful that you don't push away the very person that is there that can actually support you you know you don't have to go through your pain alone there's no need for that okay you don't have to go through your pain on your own help is here help is here help is being offered to you support is being offered to you but you are the one that has to accept it okay message from source so you've got the knight of wands just check here so sorry this was the page of wands but again that same motivation knight of wands empress energy as well as the five of pentacles okay follow your heart but also it feels to me almost like some of you might have some past disappointment you know so maybe you saw this was it this was love this was life this is how it's going to go opening my heart fully committing to it believing in you know sort of like true love this is how it goes and then it didn't quite work out and i feel that for many of you you may thought that you have or you may know that you actually haven't fully healed from it this is an opportunity to heal don't make the same mistake as before okay good is coming but you need to be on board all right good is coming but you need to be on board you don't want that ship to pass you by and um you know the things in your life that you are feeling are not working out my beautiful libra 
are they really not working out? Are you convincing yourself from a point of fear? And you're saying to yourself, well, I shouldn't do this because if I do this, how did it work out last time? If I do this again, you know, what if I'm a fool again? What da -da 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 Stop, breathe, ground. Stop, breathe, ground. Okay? Stop, breathe, ground. Reconsider. That's what you want to do. Okay? Stop, breathe, ground, reconsider. Okay? You want to be careful that you don't let something very beautiful go up in smoke and flames here for you. Okay? Let's end off with a message from the universe for you, my beautiful, beautiful Libras. I hope that you're doing amazing balls. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Remember what I told you about sevens? Setting you up for new beginnings. All right, and look at even the seven of pentacles is the same that is there in your money career and goals energy okay so um energy well invested seeds well planted garden well tended to things are really about to, 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 to swing around in a positive direction for you absolutely most definitely all right and again if you're on board with that then claim it for yourself place your hand on your heart take a nice deep breath and say yes to it Okay, I'd also appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, I really would. Seven of Cups. Be willing, be open to change. Be willing to consider that it might not seem like going forward, everything is going to be hunky-dory and beautiful in the way that you envisioned and hoped. But maybe it could be, but you, you've got to give it a chance. If you don't, then it's never going to work. Queen of Pentacles, I see great improvement here in your health, in your wealth in your finances, in your money, in your career, and just your overall personal experience of life. You're really growing into your into your power, which is really great, okay? Because that takes you in very positively dynamic directions, all right? You you just basically, you know, you, you radiate positivity, you know, um, and, and, and emit very positive change in your life, very positive changes, okay? So that's what I got. Hope that it helps you, beautiful, beautiful Libras. If any of you are interested in a personal reading, you want a deeper exploration of your own energy potential, then you can, you know, contact me directly for that. Uh, the details are in the description. And I will see you next time.